Hi everyone and welcome uh, to our English channel, uh, acquiring English and discussing topics in English. Okay, in this video, again, we are going to try to improve our English speaking uh, with the topic of uh, habits and cultures. Yes, these are really important uh, in our life. Yes, as you remember at the beginning, yes, at the beginning of this uh, program, let's say it program uh, in Harmony One uh, at the beginner level, for example, we start the first video uh, with the Ika dialogues like, for example, I am Mustafa Bayrak, who are you? Yes, who are you? Uh, where are you from? And what's your nationality? Uh, what can you do? Uh, for example, uh, Murat, uh, Murat can write short stories. Short stories, what can you do? Yes, let's remember those uh, sentences and questions. Of course, these are, as you see, all about our identity, personality, originality. Yes, so it is really uh, important and uh, we will uh, now have this uh, discussion topic. Okay, it uh, really matters, yes. Okay, now uh, let's start uh, with the dialogue now, with the dialogue of chat GBT. Okay, this is conversation one on habits and cultures yes habits are as you know our settled uh, settled uh, behaviors yeah we uh, do them regularly we do them regularly and uh, maybe automatically but i don't like the description i don't like uh, to put uh, unawareness into description of course we are aware of yeah. of course we are aware of our habits as well because our awareness functions should function yes we should always uh, be aware of what we are doing yeah okay and when it comes to culture yes it is the habit of a group of a nation yes and uh maybe uh, it is like the attitude of a person behaviors of a person are the habits uh, let's uh, uh, resemble them yes resemble them Rebit habits resemble to behaviors and attitudes resemble to cultures of course cultures lead to civilizations okay more uh, detail, uh, more detailed practices. Okay. Now, Emma. Hey. And hey, guys. Have you guys seen the presentation about habits and cultures? Brian. I did, and it got me to think. It made me think. The part about uh, conserving heritage and innovating new style is fascinating. Of course, cultures are important. Uh, they, they almost never change. But of course, again, we also need innovation. Yes, so cultures uh, balances innovations by controlling them. Uh, by by yes disciplining them and innovation also balances uh, culture uh, by uh, by providing new horizons okay uh, jasmine i agree with brian Originality is key, but it's also essential to sustain a balance between conservatism and innovation. Roger, it's interesting how culture and knowledge are interconnected. Yes, culture depends on knowledge. 
Okay. Oh, now let's shoot uh, cows. Shoot cows. Should bring. Should bring culture. Okay. Habits and cultures from individual thinking to global thinking. Of course, thinking should be on true knowledge and uh, knowledge also requires thinking to be matured. Yes. Culture from local to global by conserving the heritage experience, innovating new styles without being obsessed with either conservatism or innovation, but by trying to sustain a harmony between them. Of course, there should be a coherence, a balance, a harmony. This is fair. This is the justice. Okay. Now, brand identity, foreign codes, global codes, local codes. Yeah, there is a point among them. That's the uh, most beautiful point, original point. Just as we can have a friendly conversation with our brothers and sisters in our local village, in a physical village, Shouldn't we be able to have the same conversation with someone from our global village? Of course, it is possible, yes, by drinking tea or coffee. Yes, it is also possible on, uh, it's also possible online as if we are drinking tea and coffee. This is Turkish coffee, for example, and it uh, its glass is also uh, original. Yes, uh, white and round uh, at the top and at the bottom, but thin in the middle. Yeah, this is Turkish tea glass. Okay. Dialogue one. Keeping originality is vital to be, to do, and to have something globally because each tree grows on its own roots. This is the proof. Yes. So, uh, of course, growing is also vital. Keeping originality is vital, but uh, doing something globally is also vital. Why is it rational and exciting to coexist and develop orig originally? Yes, if when, uh, even if we uh, ask this question to a child, uh, it, uh, it, he or she can also say that it is exciting to be diverse, to be different. If we were, for example, if we were the same, uh, in all aspects of our features, then it would be boring. Okay, so why is it rational and exciting to coexist and develop ori originally? Yes, it is both scientifically true, artistically beautiful, and ethically uh, good. Yeah, ethically good uh, to coexist and develop together, but originally, okay. It's rational to think individually, locally, and then globally. Yes, this is a way. Isn't it also possible to think globally, locally, and then individually? Of course, this is another way, but I think the safer way is the first one. Yes, it's rational to think individually, locally and then globally. What does the image say? Glocal. What does it mean? Glocal mindset. Ha. Huh. Uh, global, local. Yeah. Global, local, global. Okay. Mindset, talent, innovation, diversity, inclusion. Yeah. These are really beautiful expressions and concepts. As you know, uh, it is really hard, difficult, uh, to form a concept. So naturally, they have been uh, they have been produced throughout the history. Okay. 
So diversity and inclusion networks influence values between local and global. Yes. Now let results in thinking. Thinking results in feeling and feeling results in behavior. Who produces culture and who sustains or who inherits, who receives, who acquires culture? Yes, uh, of course, uh, culture is uh, uh, culture is uh, produced produced both individually and collectively. So uh, societies uh, societies produces uh, cultures and individuals develop it and again at it uh, to attach it to the culture yeah, it is like uh, is a chicken from the egg or egg is from the chicken yes this is a real reality uh, both are possible and uh, to say uh, to say uh, bo uh, in both both form uh, forms are possible me versus we yeah I do something and you do something, then we compare them and we develop them together. Okay, so we develop together culture. Culture is, yes, what is culture? What is culture? Culture is what we are. Yes, I am a teacher. Okay, I am a human being. Okay, uh, what we are, civilization is what we are have yeah without having something without developing something it is impossible to establish a civilization civilization is based on doing producing something yes culture is the result of knowledge okay may mean knowledge forms culture does culture also affect knowledge? Of course, culture uh, also affect knowledge to mature or to be matured. Okay, so there is an uh, inter uh, inter effect. Okay, inter influence. What does culture lead to? Of course, culture leads to civilization. Yes, and the uh, techniques and methods ways becomes thinner and thinner in civilization. The same ways, the same methods in the culture becomes thinner and thinner, finer and finer, more beautiful and more beautiful, more useful and more useful. Dialogue five. A person is in the place where his or her heart is, is a remarkable proverb emanated from, deviated from the culture. What's another remarkable proverb emanated from culture? Yes, as you know, proverbs are the wise things. They have really uh, meaningful messages in them. Let's see the next. It says, to know oneself, one should assert, asset, asset oneself. To know oneself, one should assert, sorry, show, yeah, assert, show oneself, of course. If you have something, it is impossible not to show it, not to exhibit it. Because, okay, because of this, yes, this is the fact. An existent being wants to show itself, yes. Okay, wants to send data. Okay, so data comes from existence, for example. Uh, from non-existence, no data, no data comes. So an existent being wants to show itself is a remarkable proverb 
emanated from the culture. What's another remarkable proverb manifested from eman? These are really beautiful verbs. Manifested from, emanated from, radiated from, yeah, come from, come from. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see the other. Microbial, macro, microbial uh, disease causing pathogenic events, contagious events cannot be patted on the back. Cannot be said well done to them. Okay, is another anonymous saying, which another remarkable proverb or wise saying or behavior can be said. Yes, before seeing the next page, let's take a look at the images. Say something. Now, another anonymous wise saying. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, of course, because there is uh, comfort, there is peace but nothing ever grows there. So action is needed. Action is needed to grow, to develop something. Okay. Okay, have a good day. The, uh, the image says, have a good day. Have a good morning. Yes. Having a smiley face is considered to be socially correct socially acceptable almost in all cultures. What else is also considered to be socially correct? Let's see whether there is one or not. Yes, being in the habit of holding the door open, yes, especially these days, especially the young people uh, always do this, yes. Okay, they are doing well. Being in the habit of holding the door open for somebody to come in or to go out is a good conduct, is a good behavior. What about being in the habit of making fun of somebody? Yes, it is really uh, disapproval. Uh, disapproval, yes. Nobody uh, and uh, nobody in the world or in a country can accept this behavior. Making fun of somebody is not acceptable. Okay, conduct and community. Conduct means the method of controlling or directing. One, two, three in Roman numbers. Let's see what they are. Roman number one, everybody accounts for his or her own conduct. Yeah, conduct here is, uh, I really resemble it to attitude, yeah, to attitude, to uh, the stance of a person, yeah. Uh, so uh, our behaviors uh, make up, make up uh, uh, our conduct, our conduct is, uh, is made up of, is made up of our all behaviors. So everybody accounts for his or her own conduct. Yeah, this is true. Everyone is accountable for his or her own behavior. Yeah, these are the ways of expressing the same message in different ways. Okay. Active ways, passive ways. What about the third? Everyone is responsible for their own actions. Of course, this is specifically true. Of course, that fact, that reality has also got a general perspective, general aspect, general side. It's a custom, almost in all cultures, to respect the old and to love and protect the young. What is another universal conduct? Yes, before thinking on the second uh, universal conduct, let's, it, let's appreciate the first part. It is really important. It is really uh, excellent to respect the old and to love and protect the young in a society. Okay, what is another universal conduct? Conduct. It's uh, let's start like this. It's another. It's another universal con conduct to uh, give presence, uh, to give presence and to receive 
presence, uh, ok, yeah, tourism, tourism, presence, full stop, ok. It's a universal custom to be hospitable, yeah, it is really fantastic, uh, it is really fantastic behavior, conduct, it's a universal custom to be hospitable and to offer three treats to do visitors, to offer treats to do visitors. What another universal uh, conduct come to your mind? Yes, bringing a gift, for example. Yes, bringing a gift comes to my mind when it comes to, uh, when it comes to universal customs. Okay, what to bring? to someone's house for the first time. Yes, I think uh, a kind of uh, a kind of lamp, for example, uh, would be uh, would be a good present for someone uh, who has acquired a new house. Okay, uh, Istanbul 2010, European capital of culture. Yes, Istanbul, the only city in the world to lie on two continents, Europe and Asia, was counted, was considered as European capital of culture of 2010. Which city was the first to receive the European capital of culture title? Yes, everybody knows that that city was Athens in Greece, the capital of Greece. Athens was the first city to receive the European capital of culture title in 1985. So it means that that organization uh, has been uh, has been uh, in existence uh, since 1985. What kind of role might Turkey play in the European Union? Oh, it was really an important uh, question. I would have, I would have asked it to ChatGPT. It requires uh, pages of uh, answers. Yeah, what kind of role might Turkey play in the European Union? Yes, in my opinion, Turkey uh, may play a really important role in the European Union by being active. Yes, as Turkish people, people has been known, yeah, they have been known being active throughout the history. I think they can bring new energy to the European members. I remember stuffed peppers, leaves, and of course the cuisine, Turkish cuisine. Okay, Turkish uh, Turkey can also contribute to the European Union with its uh, cuisine. I remember stuffed peppers, leaves, and cabbage rolls when it comes to Turkish traditional cooking, Turkish cuisine. What do you remember when it comes to Turkish cuisine? I remember that they, uh, I remember that they have been, uh, they have been active and energetic people throughout the history. Since they uh, emerged, since they emerged uh, on the stage of history. Okay, now conversation two by ChatGBT. Brian, an existing being wants to show itself is another thought-provoking proverb that reflects culture. Justin, I like how the presentation touches on universal conduct, like respecting the old and being hospitable. Yeah, it brings people together globally. Emma, Turkish cuisine is fantastic. When I think of it, uh, it, stuffed peppers, leaves, and cabbage rolls come to my mind. What about you guys? Brian, Turkish cuisine is amazing. I also remember kebabs and baklava. Yes, this is all for now. And 
uh, I hope it will be useful to you. And uh, until next time, stay, uh, stay healthy and be in well-being. Okay, bye for now and have a good day.